welcome back to World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King, Classic Blind. I have just smelted 250 bars. Mostly cobalt, especially since it only takes one ore per cobalt, but also a bit of salmonite. And now, we're actually going to do something with those bars. That took a little bit. Honestly, not as long as you'd think to do 250 things. No, that's okay. Let's see what we can do. Kind of want to use up the rest of the cobalt as efficiently as possible here. We can make this with crystallized shadow and serenite and cobalt. What else we got? That's green, that's no good. We're looking for things that will actually get us efficient levels here. Make some more Storm Heralds. Yeah, let's probably not do that. Oh, here's a bunch of stuff. Make Spiked Cobalt Bits. Honed Cobalt for eight. That's got some Serenite. If we can get some stuff with just Cobalt, that's probably good. Looks like we can still get a few levels here. From the Horned Cobalt Helmets. Looks pretty cool. It's got strength and critical strike rating, but less hit rating. Interesting. Well, these are only eight bars. These ones are twelve. So, doesn't haste. We'll make the helmets. At least as long as it continues to be levels here. Oh, somebody's training. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Four hundred and one. There we go. So we are 400 blacksmith in here. Let's see how far we can get this. Our amount of serenite is not too high, since we've pretty much just gotten to areas where we can get serenite effectively. So that will continue to be good in the future. We'll see how long these helmets will keep working for us. But then there's also opportunities to buy new recipes. Oh, look, it just stopped. All right, all these are in yellow now. This is the 405. Guess we'll go look through here. Well, now that we're going to be kind of skipping all these, is there anything in here we would want to... Man, it skipped. No, that's armor. Okay, really? Yeah, that was in yellow. Weird. Anything in here we would actually have wanted... Less attack power and less hit rating. More strength, more crit, more haste. Eh. Tempered Serenite. It's got stamina and defense. So the tempered is going to be the defensive kind of style. And brilliant has intellect. Alright. So not too excited by the tempered or brilliant recipes. That is in the armor. Okay. Let's see if there's any new recipes for us. What can I do for you? Alright, got all sorts of stuff. Brilliant Serenite Boots. Brilliant Serenite Pauldrons. Deadly Serenite Dirk. Serenite Shiv. Tempered Serenite Helm. Strength, Stamina, Defense. Yep, Tempered's more defensive again. This would be pretty de decent defensive stuff, though. Let's get all these. That is the 405 recipes. Looks like we're probably going to need to start using Serenite, though, unfortunately. Let's see if there's anything we can make that be useful for us here. Looks like that was mostly... I guess there was a few weapons in there. Serenite Shiv. A one-handed dagger with hit, expertise, and attack power. Not bad. What else we got? The Deadly Serenite Dirk. A Throne Weapon with Hit Rating and Expertise. Not bad either. And then we have the recipes actually right here. So the weapons typically seem to be more expensive, requiring additional like Crystallized Shadow and Crystallized Air and all that. Let's see if any of these tempered things are good. 52 stamina. 
on a helmet. This one has 90. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Blacksmithing life. So many options. So many choices. Defense rating 83. Well, this one has less defense rating but more stamina, so. Either one's probably fine. Requires level 76. Hmm. How are the shoulders looking? 84 stamina on the shoulders. That's definitely more stamina. And then a 32 defense rating. More defense rating, but less dodge and block. How much is... I have no idea which of those is the best, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's see which one is the... Well, it looks like they're all the same value. We really don't need the brilliant anything for spell power and mana restore. That's really not what we're looking for. Let's see. This will, I guess we will theoretically go on auction price here. Oh, this one takes Precise Earth. Let's not make that one. They're all 12. So we make, make four of these shoulders. Or, yeah, we can make four of them. Alright, that's fine. So we don't have quite enough Serenite to get more levels here. So I think we might kind of be over the Cobalt at this point. We might want to sell some of these. We can always buy them back if necessary. Eighty-four stamina. That is like thirty extra stamina. And more defense rating. Dodge and block. It's quite fine. Eh, if these are super super great, we can always make some more later. That is all of the Serenite that we have. So we managed to make nine things, I guess. These also technically have an auction value. Eh. Acceptable. So let us get back to the bank here. This is the wrong side of town. I mean, technically there's a bank there too, but there's a, there's a big drill right there. Sure. That's fine. Okay. So some of the recipes were still using cobalt, but those ones weren't. So I think we might be... We'll, we'll keep some cobalt bars. That just makes sense. What can I do for you? Let us... Sell some of these, at least. We also have a bunch of... All these in here, too. Enough that we can actually make some more bits here. We also have a bunch of fish and meat. All kinds of good stuff. The stacks are stacking. Perfect. These. Let's get these in an order of some kind of order here. And also chilled meat. That's good too. We still also do have some titanium. So right. Right. Not quite to that level yet. Convert these. Hey there. We have one air here. And then we have just a few bits of this fire. That's something. Um, then we can put away... I mean, inventory is a whole thing. Oh, we also have this wire here. See you later. Good day to you. Put that away. Go to sell rest of these cobalt and try to sell some of these don't know how much we're actually going to manage to do that but Safe it's worth a shot All right, we need to get over to the auction house we got a lot of things and then we can always just pop back right over here with the hearthstone so that's fine Is 
to level 75. That's pretty good. And we also have a bunch of other things to sell, too. And also some supplies to open. It's all quite a bit. Also will help quite a bit with the bank situation. You get a lot of stuff stored away. So that's always nice. I also have to look in the mailbox, get all that stuff out. A never ending supply of things here. Might be able to make a little bit of gold off all this. So that could be nice. Let's see if we can get scan here. We got this Scarlet Ruby, other gems, mana potions, this thing. Let's see what we can do here. These went down slightly. That's alright. Oh, not many. Seems some higher prices. Not a huge amount of well, bars on the market, it doesn't seem. 80 stacks of 20 there, my goodness. One stack of one. We'll start seven stacks of 20. There, there's definitely a supply. There's definitely a supply. And these last two too, why not? Honed Cobalt Helms. Let's see the history on this. 8, 37, 38. Hmm. Questionable. We will... Post five stacks of one. I don't know how many people are actually going to want these. What is the... Deposit's going to be seven gold... Yeah. I just don't really know what things are worth. For the most part, we get our rewards from just random quests. So, it would have to at least compete with a quest to be worth anybody buying it. It's an interesting thought. I'm gonna drop... I mean, I feel like we should probably drop the price on this. Because it has a history of going for eight... But also a history of 37, 38. So maybe these are right. Let's just post them. Worst case scenario, we get a whole bunch of things back in the mail. Which is entirely possible. And then four of these. Why not? We also have this chilled wand. Which has a history from one time. In February. That's still there. There's no current market on it, though. So I kind of have my doubts. Let's go for a cheaper price here. It's all basically random. And the rest of these are a bit lower. This one also has just one. We're trying. So like Scarlet Ruby. 85 gold for that. It's pretty good. Some Dark Jades. Chasadamis. This Twilight Opal. Also pretty good. The mana potions are roughly the same price. Great. Deposit is 36. Mm. Pretty much the same. Can we make more gold selling this to a vendor? I guess that is right. Auction. I mean, it's 36. We lose 40. It's, it's pretty much the same. I don't think we're going to worry about that. We got this book of glyph mastery. But we don't, we don't have inscriptions, so can't really use that. Some wild offers up here. History looking pretty reasonable. And a sun crystal. Post that. 
Maybe we'll just sell, sell that. Okay. Then we can open these. Let's see what we got here. We got some cobalt ore. Oh boy. I think it was still worth more. I mean, actually, with the price that we sold the cobalt there, I think it might actually be worth more to just sell the ore here. Where auctions, the cobalt bars. Yeah, with at this point, it looks like the bars are less. So we will just sell this one ore here. There you go. Keep the potions. Maybe an chitin. Interesting. Sell that. Looks pretty fancy. Just a piece of scale or something. Then we got some scrolls and mountain water and flatbread. It's nothing too crazy. What? He's out here in the cell pile? Oh, I have another one here too. And a gold clover. Why not? We'll sell that. Okay. These go in the cell pile. We got some stuff to disenchant. And the mailbox to check. We have a decent chunk of stuff in here. Yeah. The potions weren't really selling. We got another elder bit. We did sell some illusion dust. We sold a lot of the disenchantment stuff, so that's good. Awesome. Grab all these items not found, mail, internal mail back, internal mail database error. Uh -huh. Elder star weaves here, very good. Thank you. And we open that to get. The lucky rocket cluster, which the rocket throwers aren't available anymore, so we can't really use that. I'm gonna just sell this lighted vial, it's not really worth anything. And this is just regular food. No real big surprises there. Alright. The rest of these looks like we should get a much larger value disenchanting. Let's trade these over. Just some random greens we found on our journeys. Some greater cosmic essence. Two greater cosmic essences. And some infinite dust. Six of them. Alright. Yeah, looks like we got pretty good rolls on that. Can't complain. So, oh, what do we do there? Did we just turn? Yeah, we just turn these into these. I'm surprised we have the ability to create the different cosmic essences. You would think that would be something we couldn't do. Let's let's just keep them keep them large. That's fine. And sell those. And the dust. There you go. Alright. Not better. Stamina defense. That's more defensive. This is our old soulbound necklace, old soulbound bow. Yep. Alright. Let's head over to better shops here. I guess we also still have the spice bag and fishing treasure still open too. And we're about to... I mean, I guess it depends on how things go. We can't auction these because they're soul bound, obviously. Sell these. Flatbread. Spirit scrolls. And these, and these, and these, and these. Brilliant. Alright. And we'll probably get more stuff from doing those again, so let's get back. Hmm. Well, there's one thing I need to look into. And that is sharpening stones and weight stones. 
Because we are running out. A very helpful thing to have. Let's go shop in here for sharpening stones. There's adamantite sharpening stones, heavy sharpening stones, solid sharpening stones, dense sharpening stones. Really? There's there's no higher level sharpening stones, eh? And there's one available. Hmm. Weird. Can I be applied to items higher than level 165? Fascinating. I would have thought there'd be... Is sharpening stones a thing that's not happening anymore? I guess we're not really getting... I mean... These ones were made of rock, so we're not really getting rock bits exactly. Weird. Where would sharpening stones be in the grand scheme of things? It is... It's an item. Consumables? I suppose. Item enchantments. Armor kits. Enchantments. Not really. More armor kits. Other? Mana oils. Anti-venoms. Here's the sharpening stones. Hmm. How peculiar. Focusing lenses. Adamantite weight stones again. I I'm higher level 165. I mean, I guess we still have things that these work on. It's very strange. Maybe that's just a thing that they've removed from blacksmithing in the later expansions here. Interesting. Well, for the time being, we can still make these, or still use them at least, so. What would it take to make myself a handful more of these? It's gonna be in... Shining stones. Motes of earth and adamantite bars. I mean, we still have our weapons here. And they still work, so. Let's get... I have to make some of these. I mean, assuming that Hemantite bars and most of Earth are still available. That is also the question, isn't it? Isn't it? And a man tight bar. There's there's some. Um let's make a bunch. It's not too expensive either way, so. Let's buy that. 17. So then we need 34 motes of earth. I guess we should first make sure that there's motes of earth. There is, there's plenty of motes of earth too. Okay, we're fine there. So we need like 34 of these. Buy a stack. And another stack. This should probably last us until these no longer work. That's the theory, at least. And we'll buy these 17 here. Alright. Well, that should be good. And we don't have... We're not really using the weight stones currently. Just due to... What we got. There's also always the possibility that our next weapon upgrade also might be level 165 or lower, whatever that means. We will just make these. I guess we didn't actually need to go to an anvil for these, but that's fine. Peculiar. I guess that, that does explain why we've not found any recipes for better sharpening stones. Do doesn't seem to exist. Who knew? For probably everybody. Probably everybody knew. That's okay. 
We will ride this until it's over, I suppose. It's not exactly a rare commodity. There was plenty of these supplies available. That's okay. Also, we bought too many of these. What? Ford instead of that? Still back to strength. Doesn't matter. Again. Not a huge loss. We still have 2,900 gold here. So that's pretty good. Okay. We have these and these which need to go in the bank. These which need to be opened. These need to go in the bank. We got these which we can technically go use once we're back in there. Assuming we are friendly with the Fritz Heart tribe. Which. With how things are going, I'm not entirely sure that's going to remain the case. You really never know with reputation over there, apparently. But let us do the fishing and cooking here. Or at least the cooking. Good day to See what's you. happening. Have a good one. Alright. Northern stew and a jug of wine. Easy. Safe travels. Very easy. Four Northern Stew and a jug of wine from the shop over there. Very simple. Very accomplishable. And we can go see what the fishing quest is going to be. If it is the terror fish again, we will just wait for whenever we're doing that. Accident the prison. We need to find an arm. Okay. Be careful. There you go. Well, the prison's right here. We'll do that first. Set up for fishing. Helmet power. And good. Really does not seem to be worth fishing when not on the fishing quests. I mean, I guess you could. It'd be fine. Well, this just gets you where you're going. I believe we're looking for the very fat eel that has eaten the arm. And there is a fishing level. 393. Very cool. Yeah, this will just this will just keep going up as it goes. There it is. Bloated, bloated eel. Fantastic. This minnow does have a higher value. If there's any recipes with that, could be. Not too worried about it. There's the arm. Turn that quest in. Do -do 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 -do. Sell the rest of these bits. Can I help you? Oh, somebody else want the arm? Come on, the arm. First aid clinic. Perfect. Right, so we get to the cheese shop, pick that up, head to the clinic. That'll work. That'll work. Grab the uh, full jug of wine here. Very good. That's right over here. Turn in the stews and the wine. Can I assist you? There you Be go. Careful. Next and then let's put our equipment back on here. Over to the clinic to turn in this arm. They lose more arms here. I swear. Severed arm for you. Enjoy. How about the spice bag? Ooh, we got a recipe. For storm chops. Charges to its energy, causing lightning to occasionally zap nearby enemies for the next 30 minutes. Made of cleft hoof meat and lightning eels. Wild. I'll take it. Another spice bag, just full of spices. 
We'll learn that. It's a cooking 300 recipe. Interesting. And, oh wow, look at that. And a sealed vial of poison begins a quest. Not safe for drinking, clearly. And this rigid storm jewel, unique equipped, unique equipped, storm jewel one, plus 20 hit rating, matches a yellow socket. <laughs> yeah, jewel. Now that's a fishing treasure. Very cool. Let's see this, po see this quest here. That poison looks particularly dangerous. Perhaps someone in Dalaran might be interested in it. Bring him to the alchemist in the sewers. Alright. We do that. And don't sell this potion. Just gonna keep these to sell. The Velociraptor Skull is still a gray item, so. Probably not something we really need. So let's get in here. A nurse scan. Wound dressing. Healing potions. So the eels. This is fish. Partially digested meat. It's pygmy oil. It says auction price. Just, just some fun stuff. I guess we could try some of the Lost Raptor Skull. Farewell. Real question is. What is all worth it? Still, still fishing for stuff? Mm -hmm. RNG continues to be just the absolute nonsense over here. There's a forge there. Let's get down below if possible. There's a way. And we just got this from, we got this quest from a quest. We might be able to continually get quests from quests here. Because all the fishing quests have been repeatable businesses. I don't know if they're all going to be. Where's the guy that wants this? We got still a vial of poison. And there's also another quest over there. Alchemist in the Dalaran sewers. And yep, the washed up mage there also has a quest. Is it over here? Doesn't seem like it's over here. Let's go over to that mage too. Get what he's looking at. That is. He's just, just in there. My goodness. He's on the other side there, though. That is definitely something. You need something? Fletcher's lost and found. Above the stale, unwashed stench, catch a whiff of a familiar spell. It appears as if this once, might, once mighty adventurer has real love for Kungalosh. Peeking through the bars, you can barely make out the recipe written on his arm. Have a good one. We just hit it. We just get the recipe there. Let me see that. Cooking. There it is. Tundra berries and savory, savory snow plums. Apparently, the snow plums are. The tundra berries are all very expensive. I got mix of these. Fascinating. <laughs> just. He just had the recipe on his arm, huh? Wild. Well, that was... That was easy. <laughs> Where's the guy supposed to be down here? Alchemist? Sinursa in the Dalaran sewers. We're in the sewers. I thought I saw it here, too. Earlier. Maybe they, maybe they're gone. 
Oh, oh. They're over in this side. All the way at the edge of the sewers here. Uh, a poison at the black market? That makes a lot of sense. How are you? Is that what I think it is, warrior? Steel vial of poison. See you later. You're brave to have carried this. If even one drop were to touch your skin, you've died an agonizing death. I'm going to pay you for it. You can always use venom of exceptional potency. Safe travel. There we go. We didn't die. Good for us. Good for us. All right. Let's get out of here. I'll put a few more things back in the bank. And then we can head out. Technically, we can also go to the other bank. That's all fine, too. It's like right across complete other opposite sides for here. It makes a lot of sense. Keep er, all the horde lines as far away from each other as possible. A reasonable idea. Put the good chopping stones. Put the time limited stuff down there. All right, that's that's acceptable. We're doing okay. See you around. All right. So now we need to get back over to the area we're in, doing quests and stuff. Let us get over to the flight path and head on out. Want to get to uh, kind of the eastern side of the area? I guess we're going to go to Rivers. Should work well enough. Alright. So, once we get over there, check the map here. Close our basin. We still need to find the last bit of the map here, somehow. Could be on the southern wall. Because we looked around this side pretty well. Maybe we'll find it there. We need to get back over towards what we're doing here. Got some rock eggs and twisted rock talons. This is that Dorian's outpost. So we have to go to the bone fields for that. And we also need to look into the Reputation guys again. Apparently, they just. The guy that we saved from the Frenzy Heart, he disappeared right before he would have given us the quest that would unlock the daily quest, which allows us to actually continue to do things. So we need to head back in there and do that again, apparently. That's okay. Flying over our Winter Grasp again. It's a very large area, which makes sense because of all the people involved in the PvP here. So that all checks out. This is a unique jewel. Rigid Storm Jewel. For 20 hit rating. Not bad. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we're doing good on money here, too. Got almost 3,000. I think we need like 5,000 for faster flying, though, so. Still not quite there, but we're definitely getting there. Definitely getting there. I'm sure there's all kinds of things we could be buying, but I think saving up for faster flying is probably our best bet. Would be a reasonable idea. This is the Sundered Shard right over here. Come. What's the place we need to get to? Exploration. Northrend. 
skulls are. We need to find the Storm Rites shelf. So, somewhere stormy. Oh, there's a. That's Force of Nature. That's what we're doing. We need to find somewhere kind of stormy on a shelf, presumably. That sounds like along the cliffs here. That'd make the most sense. Oh, maybe. I mean, this is also kind of a shelf up to the waterline here. There's nothing obviously a storm ride shelf. These are not clear, but they're still placed. I guess we can go searching for a little bit here. Yeah, we can fly. That's always good. Worth checking things out bit by bit here. And also, we can be on the lookout for more Serenite. Because that's going to be very helpful. Okay. And also, if we can find any more random quests lying around. That's also good. This is... Another of the big pillars... It's up on top here. Looks like we got Sapphire Hive Drones. This is a Sky Reach Pillar. Uh, I would agree. I'd say this reaches into the sky pretty effectively. Anything around here look like a shelf? Not particularly. That's mm -hmm. like a shelf. But I think that's more just back into the previous zone here. Yeah, this is more of the Borean Tundra here. That's Borgorok Outpost. That's not really what we're looking for. None of this is really looking especially stormish either. I've, it sounds like the kind of thing that would be either like one of these kind of things, perhaps. I don't know. It's all a bit of a mess. And that up there is more towards ice ground, kind of. We've really made it to the south here, exactly. I think we kind of made it there. I don't know. Either way. There's a water stream coming in. From way up here. Probably not the shelf we're looking for, then. This is just winter grass again. I think we, we've been up to that part, this part there, too. Really in Alright. Okay, none of this is really looking like the shelf we're looking for. So let's head over to the lifeblood pillar. Let's see if we can get that going. 300 gold. My goodness. Hard knuckle clearing. Yep, we've been here before. Very good. Let's pop back in here. I think this is the right spot. Yeah, for all these guys. Yep, 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 yep. I think we do need to come back in to this spot. Just to get all this going. Yeah. 
moving through here. We can kind of, kind of avoid most of the people here. We'll see if all our guys spawn back in here. Presumably they will. Let's I cast Bone Saw. That's not ideal, obviously. Let's see, are they gonna be in here? They're stuck in, frozen here. Okay. So I think we need to actually plan this time. Let's try to say Jaloop this time. I like them better. Assuming that me completing the next bit of that quest didn't already mess this up, but I'm sure they will be glad that we saved them again. So, kill. Zepic. If we go over on this side, that should work. Weaken you. Strength myself. And weaken him. Take out this epic here. Now catch your back turn. Her the undead bad. And we got a drop too. Amazing. Alright. Hey Jaloop. Glad to see you again. I knew we were friends. Hooray. Now we're friends again. Probably worry about us. Can you go back to town and tell him everything okay? Yeah, go tell us who say. You have a shiny ball from the dead. Lich guy, meet you there. Go meet you there. Return to Rainsphere Canopy and speak to High Oracle. Okay, now we actually have a quest that continues from here. I think that makes more sense. Perfect. Yeah, time. Time sensitive NPC spawning is, and then despawning is always some awkwardness. I think we should be good now. So from here, we just head back over to the Rain Speaker Canopy. Talk with the main guy. I think we're pretty much good. Return of the Friendly a Dry Skin. So how's our reputation looking now? It is switched back again. So you always get, oh, there's a box. No, that's just, I guess, ah, that's later. What about you later? Be back. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a whole thing. Rain speaker can't be more this way. This is the rain speaker rapids. Lots of rapids and stuff here. Oh, that's also good. There's an ore. I need to restock on my ores here. Oh, there's a piercing right here. Unfortunate. <laughs> Maybe we'll have more lock mining ores in other zones where there's not tons and tons of people around all the time. We will see. We will see. Turn the friendly dry skin. Good to see you again. We worried when you not come back right away. Jalut be back. A lot of energy in Jal lot of energy in Jalut. He pretty fast. He told me how you save him from Lich thing. Moodle told me how you save Moss Walkers too. You really nice. Hope you stay with us for a while. Always something neat doing. And that unlocks Quest from them. And they can we can also get all the things back to some of these guys around. Amazing. So let's see what their repeatable things are here. Peace in the Great Rainstone. Since Mosswalker have been attacked, worried maybe we're not good to Great Rainstone. We may be too greedy. We need more treasures to offer. You know what? You good at finding shinies last time. Maybe you go look more around village for shinies. You maybe need one of good rain speakers for help. Just tell us who. Not a rain speaker at Campy wants you to take a companion to dig up and collect six shiny treasures. And we can choose who we want to bring. Let's bring Jalu. I'm good with that. 
Fantastic. Let's see what, what else you got here. Aha. This oracle has a quest for us. Cleansing Song. Earth and skulls are as pure. The pillars have protected lands for centuries. Water, not as pure. Comes from outside skulls are. From oceans, from lakes, from rivers. Water sometimes brings bad spirits. Need to be cleansed. Take this chime and play at Bitter Tide Lake, Wintergrass River, and River's Heart. Make bad spirits angry, and then you must kill it. Alright. We got a fancy chime. Chime of cleansing. And lastly, we got somebody over here. Um, power of the Great Ones. We need to do something to stop Puppyman attacking Spark Touched Haven. Jalut brought me a very special crystal that he found in River's Heart. We've seen only one like it before. The crystal will not have power now, but the opened up lifeblood pillar should have energy to recharge it. Just bring it close. Once the crystal is charged, go to Spark Touched Haven in far southwest. Let the crystal's energy make you big and strong. Time to kick some Puppy Man butt. Okay, interesting. Here is the fancy crystal. Alright. That's not the right thing. We find more shiny treasures. Those were around. We need Jalut's help. Jalut, I'm in combat. Doesn't count apparently. Let's go find some shiny treasure, shall we? Should be around here. I think it says exactly where it is. Okay, there's there's the sparks. Let's just find just need to find six things. More treasures, treasures of all kind. Sparkling. Really? Okay. Let's see if we can find another one. Good. There's one. Yeah, finding six of these shouldn't be too bad. It's very fast at digging. Always delightful. Got something? Yeah. There's a shining. We need to hit, get over to the pillar also. Okay. There's one. Find all kinds of treasure. Fantastic. Anything over here. Here's one that got uncovered. That counts. Any over on this side. There's an ore though. Go get that. Also a treasure here. Everything, everything's working out. Serenade. Treasure. Not ours. <laughs> Awkward. Sometimes the group quests are a little strange. That's okay. Just need one more bit here. Getting back to where we were before, because presumably things will be respawning at some point.
Just looking for one tiny speck in all this. Or a piece that's already been uncovered. That works too. Shiny treasure. No, nothing to click on here. There's a shiny treasure. There's one. It's a system. It's a system. Alright. There we go. There's all the treasure we needed. Right, let's head to the lifeblood pillar. Get this thingy unlocked. Or powered up, or however you want to call it. Let's go jump off of a tree. Yeah. There's a rain speaker rapids. Me. I'm in the wrong zone. Where are the three places we need to be for that? That's the cleansing song. Bitter Tide, Lake, Wintergrass River, and River's Heart. Lifeblood Pillar. Suppose Lifeblood Crystal Pillar. Right, so let's just go to the top. They said anywhere nearby, but clearly not. Wintergrass. River, Bear Tide Lake, River's Heart. Up here, probably. Oh, rock guy. I hear rock guy. I will mine you. <laughs> Don't think I won't. Energized. Beautiful. Now we need to go to... I think it's that lake, this lake, and the Wintergrass River is going to be the one coming from Wintergrass, probably. That would check out. Let's try to head down to this section here. This is the Mangrel. This is the Frenzy Heart River. Maybe the southern one is where we need to be. We can loop around. We can loop around. Bitter Tide, Lake, River Heart, Winter Grass. It also depends exactly where each of the bits is. What technically counts as each of these locations. Alright. Spirit of. This spirit. Doing spirity things. Out of here. That's the wrong amount again. And we're swimming. That's not helping either. Eelfish school. Me. Continue to keep an eye out for any oars. That's also good. There we go. Wintergrass River. Spirit of Kusu. Slime spirit. Yeah. Very good. We need to go to the southwest for the crystal here. And also see if any of these spots down here are the place we're missing. If anything down here looks like a shelf. Yeah, this, this is the magic portal thingy. This is the away gate. That's probably something. Not exactly what we're looking for, though. To Sky Touched Haven. Far southwest. Perfect. Is this the Haven? Spark Touched Haven. Indeed. Alright. So we use the Power of the Great Ones. This isn't an 
damage. Right. Frenzy hard attackers. Let's attack. So we can charge over this way to get attacking some more attackers. And you. And you. And you. And you. We can get all the way in here. Awesome. AoE attacks. Very good. Very effective. Very cool. Well, we managed. That was definitely something. We got a whole little fight going on over here. Wild. Is he gonna attack? Oh, there are a lot of guys coming. My goodness. Stuff, my goodness. Alright. Let's keep on picking up a couple silver here, too. Wild. That was a very quick sling. My goodness. Right, let's get out of here. Okay. Right, I guess since we're over in this section, we can look for another shelf here. And make our way up to the lake. This, this is kind of a shelf. That's the connection over to there. This is Borean Tundra. Yeah, it's definitely going to be actually in the Skull Lazar. So here we can see the difference between the water level and the base in here. This is kind of a shelf. There'd be no reason to... I mean, this is kind of a place out here on the side. Doesn't really seem like there's much out here, all things considered. Looks like a shelf to me, though. Yeah. We're trying. We're trying. All we have is a name to go on. Doesn't feel, doesn't feel very storm-like. Oh, there's some storming. That's probably where we need to be. See, it's all it's all in the name. It's all in the name. All checks out. Oh, some ore down here. Yoink. Worth it. Really? And some precise earth. Pretty good. And up here should be exactly where we need to be. And then after that we need to get to this lake. So that's that's right on the path back to where we're going anyway, so that's perfect. Oh yeah, this is this is absolutely... It's got storminess. Here, storm right shelf. There we go. We got storm revenants. Level 79, my goodness. Aqueous spirits fighting the storm revenants. There's a whole place up here. Soaked fertile dirt. What have we found up here? Cool place. Lightning's happening. Storm Watcher, level 80 elemental. Cool. Got some kind of tower. Interesting. This is all right here by the Maker's Perch. This might be connected to that. There's 
anything in there. Let's see. Let us see. This is the Maker's Perch. There's not any obvious quest symbols or anything. Got more Perch Guardians. Doesn't look like it. Let's get down to the lake here for the last bit of that. Better time, Lake. Chime. Spirit. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And now back to the canopy here. This all works. This all works. Then, these ones are complete. So is this one. Alright, very good. Return, return, speak. I mean, it's more of a return, but that's fine. All works out. All works out. Cleansing song. Water's cleansed. Yes, all is well. You understand our way, Eric okay. Erickson. That is 500 reputation. Daily quest. 20 gold. Good, 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 good. Oh, we need to talk to somebody back in Spark Touch Haven. Really? This is the Rainstone. Never enough shinies. Great Rainstone. Good to us. You'd be good to Great Rainstone. So many good shinies. You're good at this. Come back for more later, yes? Of course. So there's actually somebody down in Spark Touched Haven, apparently. I guess that is more of a speak than return. So we can get over there. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. I have the great ones. Increasing resistance to damage and siphoning energy from all damage dealt. Cool, cool, cool. This is all by the Moss Light Pillar. Let me go to the other side of the pillar. Alright. Alright. Very interesting. That was also a 500 reputation there. Very good stuff. So one of these pillars being broken is obviously not good. Got that much information at least. Okay, here's the spark duct tape guy. Lighting color. We got all the oracles. And the puppy men been attacking us for days now. Great lighting stone is still safe though. So Holu come to help us like many times before. Puppy men not stand a chance. Good to have you you are here to help us. Long fight. Stone. So much energy in you. You follow the power of the Great Ones. I'm not lying. I'm a little bit jealous. Alright. That completes that. And not stand a chance. Very good. So, presumably, if you go at this enough, you can push all the way back into the other camps. That's something. Alright. Let's go. Hang out with this guy here. And I would call that successful. That was 700 reputation. So we're already slightly, or 1700 out of 12,000 to the next rating with the oracles here. So that would take, that would take multiple times of doing that. Don't know how much reputation we're really going to grind. But it is an option, I suppose. We still have a few more things to do here in Skullzar Basin. Next time. Goodbye.